Ooh, what a violent logo. Hey guys, this is Donna Bells. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Katamari Damashi. Look at the little prince flying like a duck. With his little duck floaty costume thingy on. Kind of looks like a diaper from the back, see? I mentioned that before, but it, it is indeed a duck floaty. So let's fly away to Earth and go to Make a Star 5, I believe. Yeah, we did Make Cygnus last time. Make a Star 5. And we've got the king. Okay, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I will sound like a fool. <laughs> I'm sure it says, like, good afternoon or good day or something to that extent, just like everything else. Have you ever been to the Netherlands? No, I have not. But I don't even know what language they speak there. What is that? Dutch? Yeah, I think it's Dutch. Anyway, a royal present for the hardworking prince. That's what we were thinking, but it got swiped right off of us on Earth. Pickpocketed during the morning rush hour. Very well done, too. Well, you know what? We're gonna pickpocket that thief right back and steal back what is rightfully ours. Because I want my present. It's actually a pretty cool one. Something we actually can use instead of just wearing and modeling off for you guys. So, it's, it's, it's pretty neat, I guess. I think we're starting on top of a dog. Nice. Today we'll be rolling around the town. Oh yeah, bring it around town. Katamari should be, let's see, around a relaxed 1.5 meters. Yeah, that's relaxing and everything. We only have like six, no wait, I'm wrong. 12 minutes total, eight minutes to get the comet. Six minutes would just be insane because we have to grow freaking huge in a very short amount of time. I know, that's, that's what she said, Blah. but anyway. It's going to be fun because we pick up people. Procrastinating? How dare you? The prince does not procrastinate. Me, on the other hand, I'm pretty bad at procrastinating. Or good, you know, either way you look at it. In fact, I'm procrastinating right now. And, and you know what? I, excuse me, frog. Goodness. You know, I think I'm just going to put off procrastinating until tomorrow. It sounds good to me. <laughs> If you'll notice that the Katsumari is different colors every time. I like this pink one. Finally a pretty one. Yay. And there's also a lot of food in this level. Which is why it's fun, I think. You get to see all the different kinds of foods. There's a lot of sushi too. And whatever these little these things are. I have no idea. And then there's like these little things. I think they're like, not the quail. These things in here in the doghouse. They look like little squid dumplings or something, because I'm pretty sure that's a tentacle poking out the top. Blech. I would not eat that. Okay, hello. Watch out for the mallet. I'm surprised it didn't send me flying. But yeah, I am not a fan of squid. Blech. I think I also like this level, because there's, well, the pink katamari, of course. I like all the food in it, so that's fun. And then the music is awesome. I know it's a little bit more plain compared to the other music in this game, and it doesn't have any lyrics. It has some, but not really, and it's like really electronic. I love it because it reminds me of one of my favorite bands called Ed B.C. Shank, which I know is really weird. I'll spell it out in the underbar, maybe like give a link. But if you like video game music, you will like their music. It's awesome. I saw them at South by Southwest, and one of the best shows I've ever seen. Ah, so good. See how there's sushi on these plates spinning around the sandbox? Oh, not those. Those are shoes. And Krabby Patties. Haha. Uh -huh. But I've never been to one, but it reminds me of uh, the spinning or the sushi bars with the conveyor belt where you just sit at the bar and the sushi comes to you. So cool. I want to go to one someday. They don't have any here in Texas. Well, they might in Austin. I don't know. I haven't really looked around for one, but super cool. I think there's even like a game. Oh, what? I'm not big enough to pick up the mousetrap? Hello. Okay, now I am. It's a good way to trap me with that sushi. Very clever game. Very clever. But, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I recently found a little casual game called Sushi Go Round based on the conveyor belt sushi bars where you make the sushi and then you serve it to customers kind of like Diner Dash and 
Cake Mania and the pizza parlor games where you make the pizza and give it to people that have been really popular recently. I am not gonna lie. Ah, dog! That's, that's not a real dog, by the way. It's a mechanical dog. Um, anyway, those games like Cooking Mama, stuff like that, all those cooking games, serving games, huge guilty pleasure for me. I don't even know why. Because I, I used to be a server and I hated it. And I'm really not that great at cooking yet. I can cook some things, but you know, for some reason I just love those games. I don't know why. I love casual stupid games. I'll just say it right now. I'm addicted to casual cooking games. <laughs> it's horrible. I am gonna go this way. Speaking of food, there's a lot of Japanese food down here. Tea for green tea and sushi because I think there's a sushi bar over here. Aha! Uh -huh. So much sushi! Yummy! For anybody interested in that game, I'll put a link in the underbar, along with my uh, Edibisi Shank music. Everybody likes links to extra stuff. I'm going the wrong way. Let's get these uh, soy sauce bottles that look like dip bottles to me. Oh yeah, I'm bigger. I'm bigger. Ooh, we're 54 centimeters. Or, whoa, that was that was not right. I got a little uh, dyslexic there. 45. There's a way through here. That actually goes down toward the town where there's more people, but I'm not gonna go there yet. I wanna get a little bit bigger. But as I was saying about those soy sauce bottles, people in Texas dip. If you don't know what that is, it's, I'm sure you know what that is. It's disgusting. Just know that, never do it. Sickest habit you can ever pick up, just saying. And people like spit their tobacco into bottles and it's so rude. Some people even put it in clear bottles like that, and that's what the soy sauce bottles reminds me of, so. Look, I just picked up paintings. Fun! <laughs> Let's get a little bit bigger, because the people down there, they like go fast. They are movers and shakers in that town, and they like to kick you all over the place. This is not very fun when you're too small. You go down there prematurely. Yeah, I'm doing good. I feel like... Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this is like the third time that I've tried recording this because I did horrible the first couple times. This one is hard to get the, uh, the comet in. It really is. Okay. Well, dog gave me a little push. There's some more dip bottles. <laughs> oh, God. Blech. Soy sauce. I love soy sauce, though. Let's... Pineapples in the ground. Pineapples don't grow in the ground, do they? Or maybe they do. Ugh, I don't even know. Video game console! Yeah! Oh, whoa, whoa! Bumping into stuff, getting too excited. I think I am about ready to go down again. Yeah. <laughs> don't honk at me! Whoa! Okay, too excited again. Here we go, let's just... Head down into here. Now on your way down, you gotta watch out for people. Move it or lose it, everybody! Here it come! And then there's bowling pins down here. Oh, I missed two of them, damn. Anyway, you go back, and the king says, strike, woo! I kinda cheated, but you know, as long as the king is proud of me, <laughs> it's all good. Getting bigger. Woman, don't you bump into me. I will cut you with my newly acquired butcher's knife. Cause, you know, I don't get mad, I get stabby. This guy was drilling into a perfectly good birthday cake. Who does that, really? And there's more good cake on the ground, like here, but further up, but I wanna get bigger things. Ah! Okay, boom, that was counterproductive. Let's get these plants over me. I like getting the plants for some reason, because it's like your Katamari digs them out of the ground. <laughs> and I got a cow! So sweet! And then there's also stumps. I love picking the stuff out of the ground. And then they make your uh, Katamari all tall. Okay, let's get big things. I'm almost at 1.5 meters. And let's get these kids down here. Mwahaha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Get your dialogue off my screen. I don't have time 
for you to cover my screen. I'm almost at my goal. Come on, I don't want to re-record this, really. Ah! Yes! Yeah, what's my time? 7.40! Success! No more re-recording. Awesome. My Katamari is as big as 10,565 poisonous frogs. Damn, that is quite impressive considering we bumped into one at the beginning of this level and couldn't even pick it up. And now we're more than 10,000 times bigger than that. That's insane! Now here we get to start the fun part. Picking up people! Come here, little girl! You're mine! Oh, where'd she go? Whatever. There's more people! Like these old people trying to watch the concert. Gotcha! The guitarist guy with the big fro. I'll come back to him later. He's a little too big right now. Look at all these businessmen running. Ha ha ha. I just stole someone off their bike. Awesome. Now before I forget, uh, we have to go pick up the present. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was a boy. Roller boy. Sounded like a little girl. He's yet to go through puberty, I guess. So about this present, you can actually be smaller to get it, but I find it so much easier to be big and just roll off. I'll show you in a second. There's like a ramp over here, and you see that crow right in front of us? He is our dad's pickpocketer. He stole our present. He still has it, and you're supposed to roll off that ramp, but I find it so much easier to just get on the roof and roll off casually. And I picked it up. And I even got the crow. He's still stuck with the present. Ha ha. That's what you get, bitch. That's what you get for stealing. <laughs> and I got my present back. Oh my. There's a couple down there when you pick them up, usually. The king says, oh, what a cute couple. Heart. So cute. Home improvement. <laughs> Some of these people have really strange hair. Really long bangs, I guess. Yes! I got the big afro dude. I know! I hate the sound of the dog when I pick it up. I'm so sorry, little puppy. I didn't even see a dog. Oh yeah, I got the girl that was running away from me. That's what you get for running. You little girl. I don't even know what to do. I have so much free time. Three minutes. This is the fastest I've ever done this. I don't know what to do with myself. Let's go down here. <laughs> Some of these people's screams are horrible. <laughs> I feel like such a bad person. All right, I can't fit through here. <laughs> Man, these crows are just stealing everything. That one had something. They are naughty, naughty crows. Stealing stuff from everybody. People sound horrified. All right, let's get the farmer. Come here, farmer. I already got your cow. Uh, let me get it here. <laughs> All right. I bet you could go back up the hill if you tried, but I really don't think I have enough time. Which? Oh my god! I just looked at the clock. I have to go to school. I didn't think that I was going to be recording this so much. Oh, that is a huge radish there in the middle. Never noticed that before. But, um, yeah, I definitely have to go to class. So, good thing I only have a minute left. I'm going to be late to school. Oh, well, who cares about school? I think I only have, like, two more classes, days of classes left, and then finals. And then I'm done. So, that week of finals, I probably won't be uploading as much. Just a FYI, heads up. Finals suck. I only have like three classes, and one of the finals is gonna be presentation. So. I don't know what I'm to pick up! I feel like I picked up everybody! What the hell? Okay, pick up fences, that's cool too. Oh, you! Come here! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! What's happening? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I picked up the ice cream freezer. Yummy. That crow has a kitty. That's not nice. 
We have a meeting to go to. We're zipping back to space now. Well, that's all right, because I have a class to go to. Royal Rainbow! <laughs> Seriously, I, I gotta go. Ugh, hopefully there's not a cutscene. Two meters! Sixty-four centimeters! Two millimeters! Herm. It's pretty big. We imagine we can make a pretty star. We're so pretty. If it were ours, we'd make it much bigger. You jerk! That's the best I've ever done, and you're telling me that you can do better. Ah, but yay, I'm so proud! I got the comet! And there's our present. <laughs> I probably am not going to be able to show you that, because I really do have to go. I can't believe I'm cutting this so short. Uh, I collected Japanese food! Sushi! I still haven't gotten my sushi since the last time I said that I wanted it, and I really want it now. So, maybe I'll get that after class. I'll go to the local store because they have a sushi bar where they make fresh sushi every day. We got the Blowfish Star. And our comet is Sashimi Comet. I don't know how I feel about that. Sashimi is like raw fish. Uh, just raw fish, like not rice or anything, so. Crap! Cutscene. <laughs> the kid's like, holy shit! <laughs> oh, there's Top Shell Island already. Of course she doesn't see him. That kid must be getting hmm. pissed. <laughs> I know I saw that huge guy. Nope, nope, you're just going crazy. <laughs> Alrighty, I will show you the present next time. As I said, I have to go! Now I'll demonstrate what it does and everything. Let's save this bitch. And I gotta go to school! Bah! Never taking a night class again, seriously. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye!